Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Horn and welcome back to Prison Simulator. So as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail on today's episode, that this will be the finale. Right, we're going to level up real quick. We got a skill point, so might as well use it. Uh, the authority, I wanted to read this so you guys can see this before we go, because it's the last skill that we've never seen before. And this allows you to delegate your routine to another correction officer once a day. Use a walkie-talkie to talk to the correction officer on duty during your routine. That's kind of interesting. You can kind of, uh, you know, you're no longer a new boot, and so you're delegating some tasks that you really don't want to do to a different officer. Uh, we're not going to do that one, though. We're going to get the funny feeling. I think that should be more useful for us. Not that we're continuing this series, but if we were to be continuing. Uh, but yeah, this is not going to be a full-length video. We'll play a little bit. Just kind of talk about my thoughts on the game and stuff, but uh, it's not going to be like a full video or anything. Uh, I had thought about playing a bit longer until I start the next series, which won't be until Tuesday. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing a prisoner induction. All right, so we'll get this prisoner in here. Yeah, I thought about doing a... Uh, let's make sure all these match up here. But yeah, doing a few more videos. But yeah, I, I felt like uh, I needed to spend a bit more time playing the game that we're gonna be covering next. Uh, it's still under embargo. Yeah, this looks good. And so I can't like say anything about it or even which, which game it is, but those of you who know the type of content I typically cover on this channel probably could have a guess. We have to pick this up first. Let's go and search it. Yeah, I'm not able to... I guess it's already marked. Okay. Yeah. I apparently already marked it before I even looked at it. Uh, so let's go and give them supplies. Oh, we're going to have multiple prisoners today. That's interesting. Again, they keep adding new elements to it. I don't think it matters which which box we give them. Yeah, this is the first time we've done more than one inmate. Uh, I guess we got a lot of openings, I suppose. So I don't recall anybody leaving. Yeah, let's go and call the next one in. And we'll make sure that all these are legit. So automatically you can tell that this guy is is not yeah his fingerprints do not match so let's go ahead and reject him that means we won't have to do any of the other steps here though I'm not entirely sure why they go into the prison when you haven't even, like searched them or anything like that yet it's kind of strange uh, you notice that that lost item quest has also been failed we were not able to find the book unfortunately uh, Corey Miller here, everything matching up there, the numbers appear to be matching up as well. He stole a work of art. Right, so let's go and accept him. So two or three were accepted. He's got a couple different items here. Uh, let's go and take the paper and uh, actually check this the right way. Alright, and the last one. Alright, good to go. And... There we go. Excellent. So we need to search him and give him one of these boxes. All right. So that's that task completed. So we'll have a little bit of free time here. What did we lose? Oh, I was about to say, what did we lose $200 for? We leveled up. Newbie, report. I need you. What's the problem? Over. At least one responsible person in this jail. Some jerk lost prison keys, and not just one pair of them. Take a quick stroll around and find them as soon as you can before some prisoner finds it. Don't slack off. We don't have much time. All right, so we need to, to find these. We have 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Uh, we can check the locker room, cell block, B, cell block B, and the shooting range. So let's be quick about this. Let's see if we can't find them. And it looks like there's keys in each area. Okay. So we gotta go to a mall. I guess we saw that that one time during the riot. The riot, we also had to to find keys. Um, it said the shooting range, but I'm not seeing anything marked here. And the shooting range. Oh, probably because we were already in it. That's why I didn't have a green marker anywhere. And then you gotta find the keys. All right, so we should be able to easily find all these keys. I'm surprised we misplaced three of these damn things though. Oh, that's the the one we felled, the officer who we felled the task force. We need to talk to him as well. And here's the last set of keys. Said, good job, newbie. Big thanks. Didn't really think you would succeed. Um, no problem. Yeah, 
Damn, you found four pairs of keys, right? No, we found three. So what is missing? So that's not good. I have a feeling that'll tie into the story somewhere. These missing keys. I guess we can turn in this failed quest over here. But yeah, those of you guys who know... Oh, that really decreased his respect, didn't it? Yeah, those of you who know what I typically cover, the types of games I typically cover, probably know what I'm, I'm playing. Uh, but I do have access to the game for the next series. And I just feel like I haven't uh, played it enough. Enough to, you know, learn all the new mechanics. And so, yeah, I'd like to, to have a bit more time. And I feel like if I, I don't cover anything for the rest of this week, that should give me... At least a, a few extra hours, the hours I'd spend on putting the videos out, you know, that helps, anything helps. Uh, we're just going to play a quick game here. Uh, we'll do the Bible one, and we'll do the 50 bucks on the hard. Oh, that was horrible. So yeah, we're going to be ending this series, uh, and I was actually originally intending to do 10 videos. But we ended up playing a little bit longer than I anticipated. Like as far as actual time goes, we need to start stepping this up and stop missing so much because we're gonna lose this. So yeah, I was only expecting 10 videos and then we'd play something else. Uh, but because we had that week where I was doing my kids' tests with the homeschooling and we didn't really have as many videos, the series actually lasted longer time-wise than I was expecting. And so I didn't even have time for another to start another series. That's okay. At least, at least he did really bad last time. Good God, he didn't hit at all. Oh, he keeps playing like that. He ain't gonna. He's not gonna beat us. He'll have one more chance to get some points, I think, because we should win the next one, unless we keep you know, missing the 60 points like that. God, he's doing garbage. I don't know what's going on with him. He's just having a bad day, I suppose. All right, so now we just need the 21, so we're gonna go for the the triple seven here. And uh, we gotta get it. We did it. All right, so now we're gonna have, I guess we can go for the double 14. Well, you get to the point where you're, now we're we'll just go for the seven now. Oh, just barely completed that task. We lost respect with the guards. I think that's just because of the, uh, the task we turned in. But yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed the game. Uh, I've already kind of expressed throughout the series some of the things I didn't like about it. Oh, we had the application process. So this is kind of a cool task. I'm glad we get to do this one more time. So yeah, we'll take a look at all the applications here. Uh, so yeah, we'll start. Uh, do we have to pick up the rules first? Check your email. Oh, okay, we gotta check the email first to see uh, maybe any daily rules that we have here. Do we have enough money to, to buy anything? Let's just take a look real quick. Uh, we do. The prison has quite a bit of money, in fact. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the barbells then. It only increases prisoner respect by 1%, though. It, yeah, it seems like the best way to get respect is to do the skins then, in that case. See, I think we'll do the skins. This gives you 8% respect. How about if you really dump some serious money on this, but we can't see it? Got the golden ones. That's fifteen percent. You know what? I feel like you should save your money to be able to get a good one, or maybe the marble. Twelve percent here. That's not bad. Uh, you're spending five hundred more though, just to get two percent more respect, or is that three percent more? Three percent more respect. That's a lot of money. Where here, you know, you're going up by you know over double for only three hundred dollars. So it's like the luxury edition frame seems to be the best option here for us. Yeah, I mean, you can get quite a bit of respect for, for this. Let's just get the, the Luxury Edition one. They'll have golden beds. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they got golden beds. Their rooms are looking a lot nicer out now. Their cells. That gives a huge jump in respect. We're now at 68.4%. That's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Like how much respect we get for changing up the skins. I mean, I guess you would get a lot of respect, but it seems like it makes the respect mechanic kind of arbitrary now. I mean, it's something we struggled with this whole time, and it's not even that important. Uh, prisoners must have a valid medical certificate attached to their application as a confirmation of not suffering from any conditions. So we've already seen this one here. Well, th this is the one new task. Okay, so there were one new email, excuse me. So these ones are old. Uh, but I think one of them was only a daily thing, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, was only for that day. This one right here. But it looks like it's the same one. 
Okay, that doesn't matter. So let's go and get off the computer and uh, go ahead and do these applications. Just take a look at them. So this is a pass. I received permission to visit from the guard supervisor in a prison blocks. I asked for positive confirmation of permission to leave for one day. So they can't leave if they have more than three years or five years. I can't recall. We'll need to look at that email. Point is he's fine on that regard. Um, so here's the letter of recommendation. And this is from, okay, so this is for the wrong inmate. Unless this is supposed to be, yeah, I don't think that's it. Or maybe, is that supposed to be the guard's name? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, because the, the, the Mason Smith, it makes me think this is the wrong one. We'll, we'll take a look at some of the other stamps and stuff. I mean, the stamps seem to match up. Let's look at the signatures. And so this is the medical certificate, which he has to have. Positive diagnosis zero, so he doesn't have any issues. And so the doctor's signature looks fine. But I don't, yeah, I do not think, yeah, <laughs> the guard one is not fine. So he's not supposed to go in the first place. He's been certified with the medical, but yeah, he's not supposed to go. Uh, I thought this looked kind of fishy. And then look at his signature. Just flipped us off. He's not taking this pass very seriously, is he? Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and say that he is not going anywhere. Give him a rejection here. Typically seem to reject more than we accept. I'm glad we got to do this one more time because I kind of like this here. Um, this is for a pass. Now, he's got 22 years, so I, don't, I mean, he can't go anyway. But I did want to just kind of double check on whether it was three or five because I don't remember. It's five years. They have more than five. So yeah, he can't go already uh, because he doesn't, uh, I mean, everything seems to be signed. Everything else seems to be good to go. But yeah, of course he's got too much time. The doctor signature is a little bit off though. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be rejecting this. Somebody trying to escape, man. Uh, here's another eight year sentence and it's another pass. Uh, so therefore he cannot go. So we need to look at the rest of the information. So these have been really easy. We got a part in here. Uh, so we're gonna wanna make sure that everything is good to go. Attached to the application. Da, da, da. Please approve it and implement the appropriate procedures. He's in here 23 years for stealing a purebred dog. Uh, so let's just go and confirm that everything matches up. So the signature here. Yeah, John Travolta seems to be fine. Again, similar prison signature as we saw before. Uh, the president's signature seems to be good to go as well. Uh, the name seems to fit too. I mean, it looks like this guy actually is, uh, uh looks legit. I'm not seeing anything wrong with the, the stamps either. Yeah, it looks like this guy actually did get an actual pardon, but why would you act that way when you got an actual pardon? All right, so yeah, I'm not seeing any issues with this, so we're gonna let him go. Accepting that. I think that's the first part and we've accepted here. The last one was definitely fake. So we got Stephen Smith here. Uh, it looks like it's a complaint or something. Dear Warden, we have not yet received an answer about Stephen Smith and his imminent release after paying a fair sum for his freedom. We will no longer tolerate it and you will soon feel the consequences of your tardiness and making decisions. We will make matters and or we will take matters into our own hands. Yours faithfully, representative of the Lombardi's family. So did the uh, Warden really take a bribe or something to release somebody? I'm not entirely sure, but we're just gonna... Oh. oh, do we just read that one? We don't actually stamp it or anything. But I think it's kind of indicating that the warden is... I don't know. It kinda seems like he might be uh, in on this. It wouldn't surprise me if, if somebody up high was, given just the level of uh, corruption that we're seeing here. And I, could, I could see the warden being involved. But who knows, maybe that thing wasn't even legit. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we'll take a look at these stamps here. Take a look at the signatures. This is a guy looking for a pass. Well, he has more than eight, eight uh, excuse me, more than five years. He has 18 years. So it doesn't really matter if everything matches up. Which it kind of seems like everything does. As far as daughter's wedding. But again, I'm not supposed to give it to anybody who has more than 18 years. So, rejection. All right, so we actually, okay, we got a lot of respect and that was just because of the uh, 
the new beds. So I do want to talk to, to David Johnson. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do that during our free time here. I don't know if we're... I guess we can take a look. Yeah, we're not going down to the cell block next activity. So we'll go talk to David Johnson since it's part of the story mission here. I'm interested to see what happens next. Yeah, overall I enjoyed... The game, there's many things I don't like about it. Some things I think they can improve. They can certainly add more stuff as well. I like to see the tasks kind of get varied a little bit more. Maybe have some more tasks and, and have more different things happen during those tasks. I said, what's the matter? I need you to get something for me. Now you have my attention. Are you able to get me a video camera? The unav unavailable spine sort? I said, you want to peep on someone, you perv? Wink, wink. It's none of your business. Hey, why don't you just get it yourself? You know, go to the shop, just buy the stuff. That'd be cheaper. I can't take that kind of stuff into the prison. The officers check each other too. Or, and you always find a way to smuggle stuff. Fair enough. I can get you a camera, but you need to wait a few days. Because, yeah, he smuggles stuff here. He's a store. I only hope you get enough money for it. Or you got enough money for it. He wants $300. Wow. All right, so that's kind of expensive. Uh, we actually do have $300. We have to wait for him to get the camera. You know, one thing we haven't done yet on our free time is done the wait. I, I always do the, the free time, but just to, to do it once, we'll try it out, see what happens. And you get an achievement for it too, nap time. You're tired, it's a rough day. We need a little bit of a nap. So we can go back to doing this camera one too. I'm glad we're getting to do some of these tasks we only did uh, once or whatever. Especially like this one, I didn't do very well the first time. I didn't know you could pause time. That's pretty helpful. So I was kind of like take a peek here, see if there's anything going on. And just kind of dip around to all the different prisons. Or excuse me, all the different cameras. See if we can catch anybody doing anything. Again, it just kind of feels like this is the better way to, to switch between them. And check the rec yard. Uh, suspicious behavior in the canteen, that's over here. So what's going on? We should probably pause it while we're looking. I'm not seeing anything, but maybe it's from the other angle that we'll be able to see it? Yeah, I'm not seeing uh, what this suspicious behavior is. We can zoom in. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's actually suspicious. Okay. Are we missing something? No. And there's none in the back kitchen area, which seems kind of strange. Maybe it hasn't happened yet? Okay, well, whatever, if it hasn't happened yet. Well, yeah, this is one reason to, to upgrade your cameras, I suppose. So Sublock B now has suspicious activity. Let me just dip back on over here see if anything did change. No, nope, they're still doing well. I'm not seeing any suspicious activity here either. Everybody's just enjoying their day room time. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, I mean, he looks like he's about to do something. He's over here, like, sneaking. Oh, here we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and tell... I don't remember how to, is it Q? It's Q. Um, so go ahead and reprimand him, Alexander. You see he's trying to start a fire. Hopefully he'll stop the fire before it starts. Nope. Looks like he fell in that. <laughs> it seems almost like he didn't. Yeah. Oh Lord. All right, so let's go ahead and get the fire selected. That's this guy's fault. He, he just didn't even do it. And I can't even get him selected because he's behind this. We could move the camera, I suppose. Go to a different camera, but we'll just have this guy extinguish that. It almost feels like they don't always obey your orders here. Recommend. Yeah, this seems to be where we have the most issues is here. Uh, also, it looks like we got somebody messing with this, uh, we got Al Anthony, excuse me, Anthony Robinson uh, messing with the camera. And I'm not entirely sure where our nearest officer will be. 
Could be in here. Could also be over here, though. Let's have him do it. I don't know if he's the closest. All right, so we got him reprimanding. Um, and we don't want to, like, just hang out looking at him as I did last time. Because then we're just missing everything. And again, he didn't, uh, he didn't do it. It seems like they either don't listen or, you know, the, the officer's not listening. Or the officer can't get the inmate to listen and then he just ignores it. Or he's getting stuck here again. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but... Like, this is not our fault. Did they ever fix this situation here? Okay, so he has stopped him. He's in trouble. Still nothing in here. Yeah, like he doesn't, um... He's just not doing it. Yeah, I don't really like this one. This one, this activity seems to not work properly. Because yeah, I feel like we're responsible for all the the guards' failures here to get people to comply. And they seem like they never get it done. Like, this inmate has been kicking property in. And why do you even need to do this anyway? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you just can't get them to comply. Maybe if we, like, give somebody else the task? Because... Whatever that officer's name is, Matt Simmons seems to be too incompetent to get it done. Yeah, but why do we even need to tell them to do this? Isn't this their job? Yeah, they can't get him to stop kicking it until they just let him keep doing it. Maybe he can stop this guy from pissing. Yeah, nobody seems to be able to get this done here. Okay, whatever. We'll just dip around other areas. I notice there's no uh, camera here in the morgue. But yeah, there's just constantly problems in here. Nobody can seem to be able to deal with this. Uh, looks like he might be starting to fight. Who knows what's going on here. Kind of just want to get this this uh, task done with. Yeah, this task isn't very fun when it doesn't work properly. I mean, I guess it would be the issues of like you know them not being able to get them to comply or whatever, but... Got something happened in the workshop. We got this guy sneaking up on him. What are they doing? I'm gonna go in here. Start a fire or something. Hey, you see this guy sneaking? Look at Mario Griffin. Well, we already know Mario Griffin might be a crooked officer. Is he coming in here? Is he coming down here? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, so let's just go ahead and have... We know he's about to get up to no good here. So let's just have him reprimand him now. Before he does something he's not supposed to. He's looking awfully suspicious. Yep, now he's kicking this. It actually worked. He was able to get him to comply that time. But yeah, we just lose a ton of respect on that task because we can't seem to... Uh, to get anything done. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to be the end of the episode, and that's the end of the series as well. I did want to do that task, since we'd only done it one time. We don't need to do free time and shower time again, though. I'll say that I think the game is better than I expected it to be. So yeah, it's definitely better than I was anticipating. There's a few issues with it. I mean, there's a lot of issues with it. Uh, but it's still a fun game, and it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I'd like to see a few things improved with it. I guess we can fix this game real quick. And I, I'm sure they will. Now, I wasn't here for the, uh, the early access. I know some people had some issues with the early access or whatever, but... Yeah, I felt like uh, if they, they make some improvements to it, they can have a really good game on their hand. It's, it's one of the better simulator games, I feel. I cannot, like, rotate this damn thing. All right, we'll just click on the stuff and repair then. Oh, okay, it's the right mouse. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, it seems like we always get whistled at whenever we work on this. Like, they think that we're, uh... Breaking it or something. Alright, so... I think that's all four parts. There we go. Excellent. That used our free time as well. And it cost 80 bucks to get that repaired. Uh, but yeah, we've gotten the respect up a lot higher. We found that the best way to do that, of course, is using the skins. That's the best way to, to get respect up, rather than just doing whatever the damn inmates demand of you. 
Uh, guard respect, you're being a decent officer, is very, very easy to keep high. If you were playing a different way, then I think you'd have the opposite. Where the inmate respect is fairly high, but the, uh, the prison guard respect is really low. And so you can also just try and balance those two as well. Yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. I had fun with the series. Uh, I liked being able to... Try, you know, actually try playing a game that is a simulator for a job that I've done in real life. That was fun. That's the whole reason why I wanted to play this game. And it was interesting going back into the prison environment. Even if it's not entirely accurate, they did a decent job. Uh, again, I have my little gripes here and there, but for a simulator, it's not horrible. Uh, and, and it's the first one I've really been able to, to compare to, to real life, so I don't know how other ones do uh, with the accuracy. But yeah, it was, it was fun going back into the, the prison environment in a game and not having to do it in real life. Uh, very nostalgic in a way, uh, maybe not, not in a good way. Uh, it reminded me quite a bit of my, my experience in the prison. I enjoyed talking about it as well. Seems like many of you guys enjoyed the stories and, and uh, the discussions about, uh, about all the, the ways a real prison operates compared to this one. But yeah, it was a, it was a fun series and... and I'd recommend the game if, if you're into what you saw here. I mean, it's, it seems like a fun enough game. You know, you'd make it through the task a lot quicker if you weren't doing a Let's Play. And thus, you know, you'd also, you know, maybe play a different way, so you'd have different methods for playing. Maybe you'd play as a Crooked Officer. Uh, that'd be one thing that's open to you. Uh, but yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's quite a bit to the game. A lot more than I was expecting. Uh, the prison's kind of small. And yet, even so, there's certain areas that we've only been to like one time. Uh, I think we've been everywhere at this point. What was the TV room was the last one I think that we hadn't been to. I'm pretty sure we've been everywhere in the prison now. Yeah, there's the workshop. Yeah, no, that's the workshop. Excuse me, this is the, the kitchen, the canteen. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere we haven't been. That's the warden's office. Yeah, we've been everywhere at this point, but it'd take us a while to get through the whole prison. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a fun game. I enjoyed it. I'd recommend it if you liked what you saw here. Uh, you probably won't play it again unless they you know continue to improve it over a year or two and it's a, a drastically different game or something. Maybe we'll come check it out in the future or whatever. But uh, most likely this will be the end of the, uh, the the prison simulator content on the channel. Hope you guys did enjoy it though. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for my next series to start, check out the front page of the channel. We got 3,000 something videos all sorted by genre. Do play a wide variety of different types of games, including quite a few simulator games. While this is the, the first one I played like by myself, uh, Jinx and I, my wife and co-host here on the channel, we play these type of games like all the time. And so a lot of options if you're looking for simulator content. Uh, we also play uh, you know strategy games, play action games, RPGs. Uh, just pretty much anything that looks fun, we'll check it out. Uh, current series we have going now, we just kind of wrapped up that Jurassic World series, which was a park management game. Uh, and then we uh, just started two new series, Surviving the Aftermath, which is a settlement building game in an apocalyptic world. And uh, The Last Stand Aftermath, which is a zombie killing, like isometric uh, roguelite. So if you haven't watched one of those series, maybe check those out. That sounds like something you would be interested in. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have a, a strategy series starting soon, too, uh, next week on Tuesday, I believe, is when the, the embargo lists. I think the embargo for talking about it lists on Saturday, so I can mention it if, if you don't already know what it is. Uh, but the embargo for actually putting the videos out is on Tuesday. Uh, this coming up Tuesday, so that's when that series will start. Uh, if you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You'll also find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, you find links to all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff if you'd like to follow us on there. So that is going to be the end of this series. I do hope to see you guys on another video, and thanks for watching.